Hey there, I'm Amy Eisenstein, and today we are going to talk about the recently released report from Giving USA and the results that we've that they found. So, first, I want to talk about the great news, and the great news is that giving is up across the board as expected. The economy is strong. Giving is up in virtually every single area. And Americans gave over $400 billion collectively for the very first time. And so there's lots to celebrate and there's lots of good news. Now, some things that we still don't know is the really the most important thing that we don't know are going to be the implications of the new tax bill. Um, that we haven't seen the results of yet. And although we've said for years and years that people don't give because they're going to get a tax deduction, I just don't know if that, um, that belief is going to pan out to be true. Now, you know, we hope and we think that people give because they're generous and philanthropic and because they're passionate and care, and they do give for all of those reasons. The question is, are we going to see a significant hit in giving, in charitable giving next year um, when, when the tax laws really start to impact people's donations? So that's yet to be determined. Um, we still don't know the answer to that burning question that so many of us have. Now, the other takeaway, important takeaway from this Giving USA report is that still, um, individuals give significantly more uh, than any other group. And we're looking at corporations, foundations, and individuals. And so individuals continue to give 70% of th the philanthropic dollars given in this country. Uh, they give that during their lifetime. And if you're including bequests, it's an additional 9%. So a whopping 79% of philanthropic dollars come from individuals every year in this country. Now that means that 21% of philanthropic dollars come from corporations and foundations combined. That hasn't changed significantly um, from years past. But what it does mean is that if you're a development director and you are responsible for doing it all, you're responsible for grant writing and corporate um, philanthropy and individual giving and direct mail and major gifts and everything else, um, then you should be spending 70 to 80% of your time fundraising from individuals. And if you in actuality are spending significant amounts of time raising money from corporations and foundations, then you have a huge opportunity in front of you. So that's the good news. Um, so I do want to point out a few other things that came out of this Giving USA report, and that is that significant amounts of money uh, from individuals are going into donor advised funds and coming from the ultra wealthy in the form of major gifts and even mega gifts, hundreds of millions of dollars in, in gifts, charitable giving. And so um, that is something that we need to think about when we're thinking about the numbers and how fundraising works and what our approach should be. Um, but I will continue to stick to my guns that the best use of your time is to be out cultivating, soliciting, stewarding your individual donors for major gifts, whatever that means to you and at your organization. And that's what I I'm so excited to continue to help you uh, continue with in fundraising. And so that is a very brief snapshot of the results uh, and the findings of this year's Giving USA report. If you follow the links below, you're going to find much more detailed information from the Giving USA report itself. And I look forward to continuing the conversation. So I'd love to hear what your takeaways are from this year's Giving USA report. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.